What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video and we are here at Natty Auto Parts ready to work on the Audi R8 which I'm super excited about. I've been trying to get this car together for a better part of honestly two weeks now but I haven't had a chance to honestly get to this because I've been working on literally all of this. So uh, yeah, a lot's been going on here at the shop and I finally have the opportunity to start putting this car together and start driving it which I'm super excited about and we finally got a lot of plastic pieces that came in from Germany. So this piece right over here, um, these are all pretty much just cover pieces for the whole, I guess you would say engine bay, but technically this is considered a frunk because it's the storage. So yeah, these are all the plastics that go all the way around. This cost an absolute fortune, mainly because um, Audi didn't actually source me these parts. I had to buy them brand new from another person that bought them from Audi and then overpriced them because that's just how the world works. So anyways, now that we have all these plastics, it's gonna make the engine bay look a whole lot better. And now that we actually have all these plastics, I'm finally able to actually install my wiper blades. I haven't been able to install the wiper blades because if you install it before that, you're gonna have to uninstall it to install that. And then long story short, those are a pain to remove and put back on. You do not want to damage your windshield because there's a high risk of damaging your windshield with those. Now, other than that, we do have also a lot of other screws and little bracket pieces, um, little pieces like this that ended up ordering off eBay as well that the car was missing. And uh, we still have an emergency release we need to install. And obviously the best piece, which is right over here, our first modification for the Audi R8, which is a beautiful carbon fiber steering wheel. We got Alcantara on the sides, red stripe from, of course, none other than Aza Auto Wheel. So super excited to get that installed. Uh, we'll do that probably towards the end because I think if I install that first, I'm probably not even gonna do the rest of this stuff. So it's kind of an incentive to reward myself. Once I actually get all this stuff installed, We'll install that bad boy. Now this steering wheel did come off a car with paddle shifters, uh, mainly because getting a gated manual R8 is not that common, but I did find a fix for that. Uh, there's this guy, a small business that they actually sell paddle shift delete kits, and you basically put this in on the back of the wheel, like right over here, and uh, it just deletes it, it just deletes it. So we'll screw that in, it'll delete that, and that's gonna be super nice. I'm probably gonna end up wrapping this just because I don't like the way it's textured. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but uh, yeah, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with these to make it look cleaner. But again, we're not doing that right now. Without further ado, let's just go ahead, pop the frunk, and start installing all these bad boys to get this thing looking like a beauty again. Alrighty, so opening up this bad boy, um, I think the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do, actually, so if you guys see, we actually have the, the wheel guard on this side. We left it out on this side earlier, I believe this video, um, to actually give us access to the hood adjustments. So now that we actually have the hood adjusted, we need to put those back in. So let's get that in right now. Actually, I forgot, to, I don't even think I put in the footage of how we actually got here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some footage from me in the past right now. So just to give you guys some background, I actually got the car to the shop. So that means it did run and drive and thankfully it was pretty darn good. Before actually driving to the shop, I wanted to get all this nasty writing and all these stickers off of the car. Um, just so you know, it doesn't feel like a salvage title. So the day has come, we're gonna be taking the R8 for its first drive. I'm gonna try to take it down to smog, breaking light and just try to get this thing registered. But yes, this is technically the first drive. Actually, this is really the first drive. I mean, I drove it on a trailer and off a trailer. That's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's hope to God this is a running and driving Audi R8. <laughs> let's just go ahead and head out and take this thing to breaking light. First fill up, guys, in the Audi R8. I don't know where this goes. We are merging onto the freeway with the gated manual transmission. Guys, this thing is so smooth. I'm so happy when the, the, the accident happened, it didn't affect the suspension. It drives perfectly straight. Oh my God. So far, so good, guys. We put gas in it, full tank. We're heading over to braking light. I'll tell you guys more once we actually get there. I'm just very stressed out. First time driving it, expensive car. Ooh, sounds so good. And now that we're back in the present, yes, now I have to reinstall that wheel guard because uh, yeah, we got the fresh alignment. Shout out to Fonzie and his boys. I believe Roman, Fonzie are the ones that helped me get this stuff situated. Um, so shout out to them. Without further ado, let's go to jack up the R8, take off this wheel, put in that wheel guard before we actually start assembling the rest of this stuff.
finally, it is the moment. We finally got all the plastic pieces and everything on the doors. Actually, we are still missing some trim pieces. Well, when I say pieces, one piece on each door. But I really wanna to get to the, uh, the front area. So let's go ahead and just install those bad boys. And guys, after hours of working on the R8, check this out. So popping up the front, you guys can see that we have all the plastics on there. Um, I actually did get a few of these screws. These are $14 screws with my discount. We got one there, one there, one over here, um, and actually we have none on this side. So we still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more $13 screws, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm probably going to pass on those for now until I can get a good deal on them and then I'll end up getting those screws. Um, we do have all these ones as well on this side, um, which is pretty much holding on the main sections and it just looks so much better. Now this is definitely usable. In terms of these wiring just kind of dangling right over here, this is actually for the washer system. Um, I need the proper connector. I always forget to order it every single time I get home. So I did order it last night. So hopefully when that comes in, that will be routed up properly as well. Well, and then that's just gonna look absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy everything's fitting really, really, really nice. And the portion that was damaged on the bumper is being covered as well. You can't even tell that anything was even damaged to that bumper. Um, again, we kind of cut a corner on this bumper, but for the most part, it looks absolutely amazing. And that's what matters. Now coming around to the sides as well, we did end up putting these trim pieces, this trim piece, all these uh, moldings, and it just looks so much better. So at this point, honestly, we have all the factory stuff back on the car. The next thing I wanna go ahead and do is honestly install the new upgraded steering wheel from Aza. So like always, huge special shout out to Aza. This is a beautiful carbon fiber steering wheel with Alcantara handles right over here and here. We got the flat bottom with the flat top with the red stripe. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And this particular wheel actually has the paddle shift cutouts. We went ahead and ordered these paddle shift delete kits. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go ahead and cap that. The other one's gonna cap the other side and uh, we're just gonna, yeah, just delete those because obviously we have a gated manual. We don't need those paddles. But yeah, this is gonna look so much better. I can't wait to slap that inside the car. And for a future video I actually have an upgraded radio as well which I'm very excited to install as well but that's for a future video this one has Apple CarPlay has a beautiful R8 logo the stock one does not have that and this is actually a bigger screen as well so again separate video on that hopefully coming in the near future but in the meantime again just very excited for this Aza Auto Wheel let's just go ahead and get this bad boy installed And just like that, I don't know if you guys saw that stereo. That looks so, so, so good in the interior. Those paddle shift delete kits that I ordered from some some person, I guess he 3D printed or something, just just literally disintegrated as I was trying to install it. It was absolutely garbage. I'm not even gonna refer to it. Actually, there was a reason why I didn't even mention the company prior to this video, because I was like, if it works out, I'll go ahead and shout them out. But just the quality looked so cheap, and I was like, it's probably not gonna work. And I tried it, and it didn't work. And I think it was like $80 for that. So that was a huge rip. I'll probably have one of my friends 3D print me one, and just slap it on there in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, not a big deal. Super happy how the steering wheel came out though for the most part. I'm hoping I got it lined up right. I didn't know with Audis, there's no actual center mark on the steering wheel. So you can literally put it in any orientation. So I pretty much put it exactly where I wanted it, removed the steering wheel, put on another one. Um, but there's like 200 teeth on there. So I may have been a little bit off, may need an alignment now, but long story short, steering wheel looks great. Super stoked about that. You guys can see it from this angle as well with the red stripe, the carbon fiber. We have the carbon fiber interior package, the carbon fiber engine bay package. 
damage and it just looks so 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 good now that we got pretty much that stuff stored i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next video i really want to break this up to two separate videos mainly because the navigation is gonna take some time to get installed there's a lot of things that need to be done to make sure that that thing's installed properly especially considering that i actually want the backup camera to work with it as well so again an entire video in itself but uh for this video very happy we got the whole front end back together looking absolutely beautiful absolutely perfect and we got the steering wheel so super stoked about that see so yeah, that's gonna conclude the video so without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all in the next one peace out